Alrighty, <clears throat> so here is my paper. Um, this is the image. So, just to give you a size, you know, it's about a eight, eight and a half by eleven. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I don't want to be using this book, so I'm gonna take a little cutter. You can take scissors if you needed to, and I'm just gonna slice right down the page. Pull that image out. So. Now that kind of image, way too difficult. I want to use something a little bit close up. Make sure you're choosing the right image for this process. So that's too small of face detail to try to get. Just FYI. Okay. Now remember I did send you, a, before we left, a link of information. If you have a printer at home and it works, please print it out. You'll find this project to be a lot more enjoyable when it's something you chose instead of trying to randomly choose something out of a magazine. Now, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I already tape my board down to a piece of, you can use the back of your, um, uh, your poster or your, your paper board. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this down right off the bat. Okay. So give this a nice tape down, kind of center it out for me. Now, in one of my other classes I had an image that I used on this side. I was teaching how to draw a hallway in my drawing class. I might be in that class too and seeing this demo. I'm just taking this scrap piece of paper here and I'm going to coat it okay, uh, with some graphite. Now, uh, when I coat it with my graphite, you want to put down a nice, even coat. Really kind of press it down. If it's light on the page, it will not transfer. You want this dark. Again, if you do have that carbon paper, transfer paper, use that. That is a lot faster than what we are doing currently right now. Okay, so I'm just going to coat the whole page, getting every bit of that page covered. And at this point, I'm going to do a fast forward, so you're going to see me do this a lot faster. Okay, there we go. That last bit. Mm. That looks good for me. I'm happy with that. That's going to give me at least a decent transfer. Now I'm going to lift this page up and I'm going to slip this in. Okay, like so. Mm. Now you want to make sure that the graphite is facing your whiteboard. Okay, mm. that is the most important thing. You don't want to trace this out and nothing traces. That would not be great at this point. Okay. Now, take some tape so this doesn't wiggle on me. And it's, so this one's ticked down too. <laughs> okay, so that feels good. All right, I'm happy with that. Now, um, for you younger people, you probably will be using 
you can use a ballpoint pen uh, you can use anything that that you feel that works really well with this um, I like using a colored pencil so I got a red color pencil here I'm just gonna see before I begin I can't see that so let's try darker color pencil let's see it's uh, a little hard to see too let's see green might be our one to go yeah okay green is the way to go so now I'm gonna press down and I'm gonna get this shape and start with the kid get all of the form in there really kinda get it down so I'm getting this hairline first okay coming down here gonna get the side of its nut his forehead to his nose get the shape down I'm kinda outlining it first get the little dark nostril and then get that little bit on the nos nostril there come back get his eyelashes get a tiny bit there and get his eyebrow okay if you have a colored pen this might even work a little bit better but I can definitely see my marks that I make with this so that's why I'm using it now notice this I'm gonna go up along the shadow here and get kind of this weird oblong shape here he's got a light source facing right off of his um, his lamp okay coming towards it but I want to get that shadow I want to get and I'm gonna also highlight these little darker shadow that's there and I'm just kinda kinda hit these extra little shapes remember I'm going to be doing like a color by number so I definitely want to get as much of my information as possible okay come in here get that ear and just you know you trace out the shape as fast as you can Okay, now I'm going to get the top around his head. Get a little tip of his fingers, and then his finger kind of comes down and around the shadow that goes in. The top of the hand comes down. See a little light source in his hand there. Here, I'm going to get the pillow, and I'm going to get these little light sources in there. Get those little folds. And this will be a guide when I'm using my color and trying to figure out my grays. So I see a big white spot right now. I'm going to leave that probably the white of the paper. Okay. Trace out those shadows if you want to and get as much as you can. Over exaggerate those lines. Now I'm not going to get all those little lines in his sheets. That is just too much work. But I will get the wrinkles. And I'll probably be making those all different types of tones. And if you take painting, this would be one thing you'd really want to remember. When you're making something, especially with paint 
or even a drawing, you're trying to make it three dimensional. You're, you really are trying to go for that three dimensional quality. And sometimes these abstract shapes really help to get that quality in there of realism. And I know it doesn't feel real at first, but then as you start to understand these marks and how to do this, it starts to feel better about all those. I see a big kind of dark shape that's right there in that comforter. Another one right here. And I'm not going to get that logo. So make sure you can see the logo. I don't know how far sometimes this camera goes down when I draw. Still learning. ink. Sometimes ink will transfer on these papers, but this is a high gloss paper. Now, feel good about that? Didn't take me too long, as you can see, to do that. I want to just do a little test. And I can test, and I can see all my images. It showed up there. Okay? I noticed that there's a little bit of a line that I missed right here in the hand, so let me grab that real fast. Take a peek. That looks better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here, take this guy off. And now I can really look at the whole thing. Now, looking at that, that feels pretty good. I feel pretty happy with that on a quick trace. Okay. Um, yeah, that feels good. I'm going to use a graphite pencil instead of a green pencil. So, so I don't have to fight with trying to... Actually, I'll probably erase that green out of there. So I don't want that green to show up in my gray. But, yeah, when I look at this, this little boy feels like he's asleep. Sheets feel nice. Everything feels pretty good. Forgot to get a couple of those lines, so let me put those in. I see the lines from the other side, but I forgot to put the little grid there. And let me just add this line going in and around. And remember, if you rip your paper, don't worry. This is just the beginning of it, so you don't need that paper not that important but I like it I'm happy with that now I'm gonna get in here take that off I can still save that for another transfer if I needed to okay but it feels good looking at it side by side does it look like I captured it yeah okay so at that moment we are at 16. I'm going to stop. 